Experts in the United States are calling on the US to engage in direct negotiations with North Korea to freeze its nuclear program. They suggest this could be the first step in a plan to eventually denuclearize the regime. Our Ian Shin has more. Two American experts say the U.S. needs to engage in direct negotiations with North Korea. The president of the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars, Jane Harmon, and the center's coordinator of the Hyundai Motor Korea Foundation Center for Korean History and Public Policy, James Person, made the suggestion in an op-ed that ran Friday in the Washington Post. They write that the strategy of using multilateral sanctions to force North Korea to give up its nuclear program has failed, and they proposed holding direct talks with Pyongyang to negotiate a freeze of all nuclear and long-range missile tests instead. The analysts say the Obama administration's policy of strategic patience has been ineffective. However, they also point to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's indifference to negotiations, especially with the U.S. president nearing the end of his time in office. Another opinion piece on the New York Times published just after the regime's fifth nuclear test last month echoed the sentiment and pointed to the limited impact of international sanctions on the regime due to its relationship with China. The U.S. has said while it's open to idea of holding talks with North Korea, it opposes the idea of nuclear program freeze as part of the deal. Yunshin, Arirang News.